iPhone 11 Pro. What's in the box? Let's find out. Dave Taylor here, and in this box is my new iPhone 11 Pro. So let's do an unboxing, right? Necessary tool for unboxing. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. And I bought it through AT&T rather than through the Apple Store. So AT&T shipped it to me via FedEx. And I guess they don't really understand people that really wanna receive something because my shipping notice was somewhere before 8 p.m. it would show up. And lo, the heavenly choir sings. Let's see what else is in the shipping box. Smart label returns. Dude, I'm not going to return it. It's an iPhone, right? So here's something new. It looks like they actually have done wrapping on the outside that makes it easy to open the plastic. Well done, Apple. Now, here we have the iPhone 11 Pro 64 gig in midnight green. What's in the box? Okay, well, this is about when I think the heavenly choir should start singing. First off, that's a lot of cameras on the back of a phone. It's going to be real interesting to see if that's actually going to give me great results. So far, it's supposed to be quite amazing. Let's see, the buttons, everything, it has a very, very similar feel to my 10 and my 10S. And it's not starting up. Maybe it's dead. It doesn't seem like something Apple would do. There we go. So. While it's doing that, I just happen to have what OtterBox sells are these Otter Pads. These are awesome. That's a wireless charger. So I'm going to just go ahead and let it sit on there and charge while we see what else is in the box. All right. This is paperwork and, in case you don't have any, Apple stickers. And let's see, the paperwork included. Let's see, it looks like, before using it, read the user's guide that's online. And there's a quick start, hello, quick start. It tells you how to get started getting this thing working. And there is also a SIM removal because they're not using software SIMs yet. They're still doing hardware SIMs. Meanwhile, the phone looks like this. And notice the notch on top and everything looks exactly the same as the previous generation of iPhone. So basically, from a cosmetic perspective, the significant difference here, really probably the only difference here, is that whole camera assembly on the back. And here's a close-up so you can really get this glorious detail of all those camera lenses. All right, we're going to let it keep charging. Now there is the charging unit, and I believe this is supposed to be the fast charger. Let's see, it doesn't have much in the way of writing on it, but it is, looks like USB-C on that end. We'll see if there's a cable that matches. Let's see, there is indeed that's actually a nice cable to have anyway, but it's USB-C on one end and lightning on the other, which confirms that yes, this uses lightning for charging and data. So that cable goes with this and that gives you your charging and power. And then the only other thing you get is you get, yes, a wired earbud set and you open it up and the packaging almost makes it look like it's a pair of AirPods or something. But when you open it up and you look inside, you can see, oh, there's a wire. But the good news is that the end of the wire is a lightning plug because it's no big surprise that there's no 3.5 millimeter audio jack on that. And honestly, that's it. That's our box. That's all that's in here. So in the box, we have a headphone set from Apple. We have a USB-C to lightning connector cable, and we have a charger, and we have the SIM removal tool, some documents, couple of little Apple stickers, and of course, the most important thing is this beautiful new phone. And I'm going to go ahead and take the plastic off the front, and I am now reading this in Russian, which is not helping me much. Let's go to English, United States. I am setting the language, and hopefully, let's see, I can just do quick start. I can use it manually. That I'm going to do off camera, but now you know Here's everything that's in the box for the Apple iPhone 11 Pro. Now, I'm going to be using this extensively and you'll want to subscribe to my channel because in a week or two, I will be posting a review with tons of examples of all the different photos and videos you can get, not just from the fancy new rear facing camera, but the front facing camera has upgraded too. So you'll definitely want to check that out. And for now, 
I need to turn off the, fa the camera because I need to get back to my new phone and get it all set up, which means I'll catch you in my next video.